All right, guys, back with an all new episode from an all new state park. My first time ever here at uh, beautiful Bald Eagle State Park here in uh, Center Center County, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's gonna be a hot one. This is the first uh, time filming in August this year, and it's gonna be uh, a balmy 91 degrees as a high today. So it's gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a two part series. This first part, uh, I'm gonna take you around the lake and show you some sites that I uh, looked up and then tomorrow we'll be getting up at uh, about six o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning and doing a nice six mile trail. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna set up some time lapses, tell you a little bit of history about this park and then uh, call it a day. So here's your first view of Foster Joseph Sayer Reservoir. Pretty, uh, pretty big reservoir, 1,700 acres. And this is a fairly large park as well. Just about uh, six, a little less than 6,000 acres. So just taking in the day, it's gonna be a hot one. So I'm gonna take it easy today and uh, get ready for the, the big six mile trail tomorrow, so. All right guys, well thanks for checking out this video. Uh, 
like I said, first time here in Bald Eagle State Park. Really cool so far. I'm enjoying it. I got my campsite booked for tonight. And uh, today I'm just going to be taking it easy and pretty much cruising around the lake and checking out some local sites and whatnot. Uh, the next stop we'll be heading over to the dam across the way here. And I'll be telling you a little bit of the history of how this lake got formed, why it's named what it is. And, uh, and yeah, so stay tuned. All kinds of cool birds and people having a blast here. This is a uh, unlimited horsepower lake. So you got jet skis, people in tubes, flying around having a good old time. So uh, yeah, come with me on this hot August day. It's gonna be 91. What else is there to say? Let's go check out uh, Bald Eagle State Park together on Maxim Outdoors. Alrighty, well, just a uh, short 15 minute drive from uh, where I was just videoing a couple minutes ago. But here we are at the uh, Sayers Dam for short. This is uh, the Foster Joseph Sayers Dam and Foster Joseph Sayers uh, Reservoir. But for now on, for me not screwing up the name, I'm just going to refer to it as the Sayers uh, Reservoir, Sayers Lake. But pretty interesting history here. Uh, you know, you always hear these names and you don't really know the history behind them. But uh, Mr. Sayers here paid the ultimate price for the country and uh we'll be getting into that in just a minute but these views are just incredible uh all the really jagged mountain peaks coming up and down and you got this valley here but all right a nice view here of uh the Sayers Reservoir and Sayers Dam we have uh Bald Eagle Mountain there in the distance but uh I'm sure you guys are wondering why is Sayers Reservoir named Sayers Reservoir? So uh, Foster Joseph Sayers was actually an Army veteran. As you can see here, there is a memorial set up for him. And back in 1944, at the height of World War II, Mr. Sayers here paid the ultimate price for our country. So Mr. Sayers is a Medal of Honor recipient, as you can see here. But in 1944, Mr. Sayers and his infantry division were fighting in a small town in France and came upon a Nazi entrenchment down in the trenches. His, his infantry division uh, really didn't have any options. They didn't know whether to run into the fire or go around, but they needed a diversion. So Mr. Sayers here, decided, hey, you know what? I'll take one for the team. He took his machine gun up, snuck around enemy lines, opened fire, and killed 12 Nazis, all while his uh, infantry division snuck around and flanked those same Nazi troops that were dug in in the trenches. Uh, awfully, Mr. Sayers was shot and killed from a barrage of fire. But while that was all going on, his uh, brothers, were able to surround the Nazis. They captured every single one of them and uh, the rest is history. So whenever you're out in places like this, enjoying a beautiful summer day like I am, think of uh, you know the people like Mr. Sayers here that you know paid the ultimate, the ultimate price for this country. Because uh, without people like him, you wouldn't have uh, places like this. So uh, thanks to all the vets out there. I mean, it really is incredible to hear and learn a lot about some of these stories but we'll take a little closer look at the Foster J. Sayers uh, memorial here so all right well decided to stop at another little uh, boat launch area as you can see this is a unlimited horsepower lake but uh, this place would be awesome to take a little canoe or kayak out in um, the Sayers Dam, unfortunately, was not open to the public. It is owned by the Army Corps of Engineers, so uh, I kind of had my hopes up to be able to walk across there and go check out the spillway, but uh, no go. So uh, I ended up checking out the uh, park office, talked to uh, a couple people there, found out some information, ended up changing my campsite. Um, I got one a little closer to the trail I'm going to be doing tomorrow, and uh, the weather is still pretty brutal it's around 92 out right now but i'm going to try to do a pretty short trail here today um there's 14 miles of trails here in uh, bald eagle state park 
And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to knock off one today just to kill some time before I head back to the campground because it's just too hot just to sit around and wallow in self-pity. But uh, yeah, really not even in the mood to go back and have a fire. But yeah, nice little bay here. If you're a kayak or canoeer, bring it up. Don't be discouraged by these uh, jet skis and 250 horsepower boats. Be a nice little spot to take a little, a little watercraft out on. All right, well, here goes nothing. Uh, I'm kind of winging it right now. No signage here, no nothing. This is uh, the start of, uh, I guess we'll just call this the uh, unnamed trail, so. All right, so that's the, uh, the boat docks we were just at not too long ago. Made it across a uh, pretty cool little fishing dock area there and uh, heading towards uh, Skyline Trail right now. So, so far so good. At least I know I'm on the right path, but, uh, here goes nothing. Let's see how long this takes me. And here we go. Forest looks like it uh, opened up a little bit. Kind of looks like a second growth forest. And uh, kind of feel like I'm back in Michigan. There's about two million mosquitoes around me right now. So uh, here's the, st the start of the skyline trail here. I don't feel like stopping right now because I'm getting eaten alive. But uh, yeah, so sun's still up, but these uh, bugs seem to be loving <laughs> the weather out here. Really cool though, second growth forest here. Of course, uh, years and years ago, back when uh, the iron industry and the timber industry came through this area, this was all clear cut. And geez, whew, I didn't think uh, Michigan could be any worse, but this is up here. I don't know what's going on. Second time this year I've had to turn back around due to there being so many damn mosquitoes. I was literally getting eaten alive. I'm sure you could see them in uh, the last video I took. But uh, I had to have a swarm of 100 mosquitoes flying around and biting me. And uh, you can't really stop and film too well whenever you're getting bombarded. And on top of that, it's hot out. That's an understatement. Tomorrow's another day. And yeah, so calling it quits. I made it to the Skyline Trail. I made it to like this old uh, block building. I don't know if it was an old pump house or not, but it was literally too bad to even film. So, hey, maybe I'll come back up here when it's a little bit cooler, but right now. No bueno.
Alrighty, well, uh, since my hike didn't really go as planned today, went back to the campground and uh, got my new site. And uh, this is about, I don't know, three minutes away from the campground. This is called uh, Bald Eagle Boat Launch. Very original. But uh, as you can see, the dam out there in the distance is where we were just uh, a couple hours ago. And uh, you also get this really awesome view of Bald Eagle Mountain here around uh, 1700 feet in total so uh, the area around here obviously has a pretty unique history everything from Indians to the iron industry but uh, if you're back here in uh, the 1800s the early 1800s like 1810 before long before this lake was here this uh, mountainside would have came down another 40 feet and there would have been uh, the Bald Eagle Creek that ran through this area but uh, long story short this mountain here right behind me was uh, full iron. There's about 60 mines all throughout uh, all throughout this mountain and uh, it caused a little uh, iron boom around here. So uh, a couple immigrants, a couple settlers in this area made uh, some, some furnaces to uh, smelt the iron and then they ran into another problem. They uh, didn't have enough uh, fuel. So uh, another little boom happened in this area. The, the timber industry exploded and believe it or not if you were here back in the uh, 1800s early 1900s if you're looking at this hillside you wouldn't see one tree this was all clear cut all burned um, and they use it all for charcoal pretty much as well as using the branches and and timber to uh, line the mines and whatnot so all those timbers and whatnot you see in mines back in the day they would have clear cut all this forest here which is uh, pretty incredible to think of. So uh, after some time, after uh, you know they cut down all the trees, they needed another source of uh, fuel since there were no trees left. So they dug into the ground and uh, found coal, which was another thing that was very abundant in this area. So yeah, 1800s uh, and early 1900s, this place would have just been a uh, polluted, barren, stripped mess of a land. But now, uh, now look at it. It's beautiful. Uh, we got this awesome, huge reservoir here. Uh, nice second growth forest growing up on uh, Bald Eagle Mountain. And uh, people out here enjoying uh, this nice summer day. But yeah, a lot of people don't real realize the uh, crazy history that takes place in some of these uh, state parks. As for uh, the rest of the day, I don't know what else I'm really going to get into. Uh, I would like to go somewhere and watch the sunset and get some time lapses and whatnot but uh there's one other thing i kind of want to touch on and that is the uh native american past because this area was very prevalent with uh native americans so uh we'll probably find another little uh viewpoint another boat launch or, or whatnot to do you know another time lapse and tell you guys a little bit about the uh the indians of the past all right well found another really cool little pull off here yet another uh boat launch area but uh as you can see here beautiful little uh dock if you want to call it that with a uh even better view of bald eagle mountain right in front of us so uh i did think that it was a coincidence that this park was called bald eagle state park and it was initially uh established in 
on July 4th, 1971. I thought, hey, you know, maybe because July 4th they decided to go the American way and name it Bald Eagle State Park. Turns out I was wrong. Uh, Bald Eagle State Park is actually named after an old Indian chief from uh, the Lenape tribe. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So in English, Chief Bald Eagle is what we know him as. But in, I guess, the native tongue of Lenape, he'd be known as Chief Wapalin. And I did Google Translate that. So Chief Wapalin called this home back in the uh, 1800s, early 1800s, and lived down along Bald Eagle Creek. So his home very well might be underneath the water right now. Um, he ended up uh, dying not too far from here and uh, he traveled extensively on the Bald Eagle Path, which apparently was a path that traveled all the way up through New York and all the way down to the Carolinas. And the Iroquois Indians of this area and other areas would use that path to go down south and fight the Cherokee. The lake so, uh, seems to have calmed down lately. Not too many boats uh, floating around right now, but uh, I did want to say, uh, you know, it was a bit of a rough day. Everything from the heat to uh, the bugs made everything a little more difficult, but got through it, saw some, uh, saw some cool uh, vistas and viewpoints and boat launches and whatnot. Don't know where I'm gonna head next. Don't know if I'm gonna head back to the campground. Don't know if I'm gonna try to find another viewpoint. I think I'm running out of uh, boat launches. So uh, yeah, but it was a good day. I think uh, I portrayed the history of this area, everything from Indians to the uh, iron industry. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for next week whenever I do uh, the Lakeside Trail tomorrow. So uh, as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like the video, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Tell me, you know, maybe a local brewery, local park to check out. But uh, all right, I'll see you guys next week from back here at Bald Eagle State Park. See ya. Thank you.